Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. Hey, yeah, Sean from Tested. And today uh, we want to go through, we're not actually doing a project today, but we're nah. talking about our workshop and something that may not, you may not think is essential to your workshop, but we found very useful. Yeah, uh, having built a lot of different things, in particular replicas, when you're trying to match a particular finish or material or whatever, that can be, I find that can be really challenging. And sometimes it's like, the best thing is if you can go into a shop and look at it and compare, but that's not always available. Like, you know, if you need, uh, there's not too many foam shops out there. Sure. So if you need to figure out a, different, a certain type of foam or, or, or something like that, uh, you may have trouble doing that. So I've been collecting a lot of samplers. Um, and so we're going to talk about some of those today and like stuff that you may not know that's out there. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, starting like very simple sample paint samples, you know, so you have your paint chips. We use these recently. Uh, that's a, a very good example of just like bringing little, little pieces home, you know, whatever. Having a Fandex. Yeah, just, we, uh, we use that then to, uh, we just did uh, a little project where we had some tea molding for our cake cabinets. Mm -hmm. So I was able to contact the company and have them send me sample pieces so I could see like how big they are, how wide they are, the material uh, consistency, and more importantly, the colors. Yes. So I could color match it to the paint that we needed and stuff like that. Um, other things which I have sent away for uh, leathers and materials. And these are, not, are these scraps or are yeah. these actual sample like packs and things that you can request of the manufacturer? A little of both. I have found that sometimes you can actually contact the manufacturer directly and just ask them. It may not be listed on their website or in the catalog or whatever, but if you just call and ask, they may send you samples. And I've had particular luck with like people on Etsy, like I got some leather samples and stuff because a sheet of leather is expensive and like I'm a little afraid to commit to buying that and you know unless I've checked it out first well also the difference between getting actual samples and scraps is that sometimes with the scraps you may like it you may have it but you may not know where to get more of it yeah so you really need to everything's gonna be organized and labeled so you when you get your specialized material or colors you know this is what I need for this project and yes that's where I can go and reach out and get more or that's where I can send someone to get and match this. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, another, this is like going back to my oldest sampler kit. These are awesome. These are gel packs for studio lighting. Oh. Um, so you'd use these, we use them around tested all the time, use them for movies and sets. So you can pick out, you know, different types of gels and filters and diffusions and stuff like that. And this particular case are telling you the exact model number. So this is an example, like I use this to figure out what color pink gel to get for the ghost trap mm -hmm. um, before I committed to buying a whole roll to make a whole bunch. Um, so it's like little swatch packs like that that you can get. Love it. Um, one of our favorite places to get hardware, McMaster Car. It's the, you know, five inch thick catalog. They are an excellent place to get industrial samplers and they will often in like, so you go to the, the metal sheet section or, or whatever, they will actually have like legit sample packs. It'll tell you exactly what like types of materials and hardnesses and sizes will be in it. Mm -hmm. um, and these are some of the ones that I've gotten from those. So like I needed a particular kind of felt. So this is literally just different types of felt. Some are, are really, really hard. Some are soft and fluffy, but I, I went to various fabric stores. I ordered a bunch of, you know, felt just blindly, and I was just, <laughs> I was dropping so much money trying to figure out what to get, and this was like an eight dollar swatch pack that I was able to figure out immediately. <laughs> and, and it's, I mean, we have to be clear. Sometimes the sample packs aren't free. You pay a very small amount. But In general, yes. Yes. They are not free, but they're it's usually reasonably it. priced. It's very reasonably yeah. priced. Like I think this was like, like I said, seven or eight dollars. But it saved me a lot of money and time to get that. Another, another one, this is definitely one you wouldn't think of, screen. This is oh. all kinds of different uh, patterns and thicknesses of screens because uh, I'll tell you what, if you go to try to buy screen and you don't know the, the terminology or the spacing, it, you will never be able to figure out what you need. Well, it's something like Adam always says, the secret power he feels like he has for, for makers is knowing the names of things. Yes. And this not only gives you the names of things, this is like the tactile physical equivalent of the Rumpelstiltskin, of knowing yeah. exactly what you need uh, in, in the thickness and in, in, in the actual texture of it. Yeah. Wow. I, so, I never knew. So I mesh. know. You wouldn't... 270 mesh versus <laughs> 250 mesh. I, I know. Um, then things, you know, we're more familiar with 3D printing. Uh, Formlabs has a bunch of different resins and you're like, and they're not cheap. 
So you can send away and get a part, uh, a sample of different materials so you can see how they work. So that's like the durable, you can, and they made like a snap fit so you can see how that, that works mechanically. Oh, okay. Um, uh, other things, uh, hardness. I think we've had a few videos before in like durometer. Yes. Figuring out how hard things are. And so like the durometer scale, uh, it's, it's divided in, there's different shore diameters. And so you might have something very soft that is a pencil eraser. And that might be, you know, like a shore 30 or something. And then you get something like a boot heel and that'll be shore 80. Um, and so I have different packs for figuring out the shore uh, hardness. So like this is a really good example, this rubber pack. These are all different uh, durometers of uh, rubber. So we have 30. Very stretchy, very right? soft. Versus 70, which I can barely pull. So that might be the difference between like a boot heel and like a gummy eraser. Um, so look, when you're when you're ordering this stuff online and you can't see it in person, these are really good guides to figure out exactly what you need. Or if you have like a piece of like uh, like an existing piece of something, and you're trying to figure out what you need to match it. You can kind of like, oh, this feels about right, and oh, that's a sixty, you mm -hmm. know. And then and then uh, simple things like I needed to order very special stickers, and you can you can contact these sticker companies. They'll send you a sample of all their different types of printing and cuts and stuff like that. So you can like have a physical representation rather than just trying to look at it online. And then probably the one that I've used the most, which I forgot to bring over. Uh, now this one did cost me some money. Oh, this, this is our laser cutting one and we have used this a ton. So this, I think ran me 50 bucks. But it has been worth every penny because they have samples of every single laser material they have in here. The etching ones where you can like you can actually burn off the top layers. You can see what the bottom layer looks like. I didn't even know material wise oh. you could get some marbleized texture. Yeah. Or with with the, the this kind of rough pattern on it. Like this is all this is just a wealth of knowing. Yeah. So this is, like I said, my, my sampling, uh, my sample collection has been ever expanding and I find it uh, an invaluable resource. Oh, now for some of these, are there lifespans to some of these samples? I know for like paint swatches, that's going to fade over time. If you want to match, they recommend that you every couple of years, you know, Probably. get a new one. Yeah. yeah. So be mindful of things that have lifespans as well, so especially things like 3D prints, if it's uh, resin over time, the color might not yeah. be exactly or, You exact. know, an actual good example are rubbers and plastics because like, say you let this sitting out in the center sun, these will harden and yeah. change properties so or become brittle. So if you've had uh, your sample pack for 20 years for rubbers, you may want to swap that out at some right. point. Or, or store them properly. <laughs> yeah, or have an actual durometer to double check yes. them. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, so, you know, so, you know, it never hurts to contact manufacturers and like, hey, can you just send me a clip? or look particularly for samplers. I've found some examples like on Amazon. McMaster is a really good place for hardware samplers and it can save you a lot of time and money and, and ensure you get the exact right thing. And if you have a workshop and you collect sample packs of your own, of anything that you don't see here, we'd love to know what yes. you collect. Please post them in the comments below so we can add more to your sample collection, Sean. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.